U.S. President Joe Biden launched a new push Thursday to combat gun crime, increasing prosecutions against violent crime offenders and initiating new efforts to track the flow of illegal guns. Biden said the federal government will be sending $350 million to cities throughout the country to confront a wave of crime that has risen during the two-year coronavirus pandemic. The president visited New York City and conferred with the city's new mayor, Eric Adams, who's a former police captain. In his first month in office, Adams has had to grapple with the killing of two police officers and the shooting of another. U.S. Republicans often accuse Democrats like Biden of being soft on crime prevention and seeking to cut off funding to law enforcement. But Biden on Thursday said, quote, the answer is not to defund the police. Gun control is one of the most contentious of U.S. political issues. Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, met his Chinese counterpart, Wang Yi, in Beijing Thursday, ahead of the summit between the Russian and Chinese presidents. Lavrov and Wang discussed global and regional issues, including Afghanistan, the situation in the Korean Peninsula and in the Asia-Pacific. This according to the Russian Foreign Ministry. Lavrov also wished China success in holding Beijing Winter Olympics and reaffirmed Russia's position against a U.S.-led diplomatic boycott of the Games amidst criticism of China's human rights record. And Facebook's parent company, Meta, has announced a sharper-than-expected drop in profit, a decrease in users, and threats to its ad business. It reported losing roughly one million daily users between the last two quarters of 2021. Northern Ireland's first minister resigned in protest of post-Brexit trade rules on Thursday, a day after another minister tried to halt some checks on goods coming from the rest of the United Kingdom, drawing European Union anger. Paul Gibbons' decision may complicate talks between the European Union and Britain to rework a politically divisive protocol governing such trade that was agreed on by London as part of its exit from the EU two years ago. Protocol kept Northern Ireland in the EU's single market for goods in order to preserve a politically sensitive open border with EU member state Ireland. In so doing, however, it created an effective border in the Irish Sea, which angered pro British, pro Brexit unionists in the province and spurred the British government to seek to rewrite the deal. A summit of the West African bloc ECOWAS has decided against imposing further sanctions on Burkina Faso following a coup on January 24th, this uh, according to a participant at the meeting who spoke to the French news agency on Thursday. Leaders are holding emergency talks in the Ghanaian capital Accra on whether to impose economic or other sanctions on Burkina Faso, which has already been suspended following the coup. The source said that uh, the, the group is going to ask the Burkinabi authorities to propose a clear and fast timetable for restoring constitutional order. Authorities in Argentina say at least 17 people died and 56 more were hospitalized in a northwestern suburb of Buenos Aires after consuming cocaine cut with a to toxic substance, possibly opioids. Officials say they're working quickly to determine what the cocaine was mixed with, but warned that those who bought the drug over the past 24 hours should dispose of it. Investigators fear the toll could rise, with some people who bought the cocaine unable to reach a care center in time. Special envoys from Turkey and Armenia will hold a second round of talks on February 24th in Vienna to normalize ties after decades of animosity. This comes from the Turkish Foreign Ministry on Thursday. Last month, Turkey and Armenia held what both hailed as positive and constructive talks in Moscow. They were the first in more than a decade and raised hopes that the diplomatic relations between the two countries could be established and their land border, which has been shut since 1993, could be reopened. The talks in Moscow were the first attempt to restore links since a 2009 peace accord that was never ratified. And Sweden said Thursday it will lift most of its coronavirus restrictions on February 9th as the pandemic enters what it called a whole new phase with the milder Omicron variant.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.